you so much for joining us for nine on your side at six. This raining money behind me represents your tax dollars, hundreds of thousands of them. And tonight, months after the nine on your side, I team first exposed a questionable contract awarding your tax dollars to one nonprofit. We found a new nearly identical contract is now in place because of our I team investigation last year into the center for closing the health gaps. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley called for a compliance audit. The results were clear. The city needed to change how it awards public funds to all outside groups. Investigative reporter Hillary Lake is here asking city officials why that didn't happen in this case. Hillary. In May, he agreed with all 13 recommendations in this compliant au compliance audit. He also told us effective July 1st, all contracts for outside funding would be much more specific and tighten up key performance measures. We've discovered that's not the case for at least one group getting your taxpayer dollars. Where you work, your social support network can affect your health. Providing health education in underprivileged neighborhoods. Every day. They don't have the same access to fresh food. Or helping convenience stores stock their shelves with healthy foods. Love it. But the Center for Closing the Health Gap is making a difference. Local nonprofit, the Center for Closing the Health Gap, couldn't provide services to the public without hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxpayer funding from the city. The key for us as professional administrators is to do what's right and to do what's professional. But is the city living up to its promise to taxpayers? The Nine on Your Side I team has discovered the Health Gaps contract is virtually identical. Nearly a year after a city compliance audit said there was minimal contract oversight, performance measures are too broad, and as a result, it failed to meet some performance requirements. This is city manager Harry Black in May of last year. The city bears tremendous responsibility in this, and, it, and that's outlined in the audit as well. But again, that's still no excuse for, for not doing complete or, or, or accurate work. But despite what Black said a year ago, the I-Team's investigation found the city didn't significantly change the health gaps requirements to receive city money in its latest contract worth $750,000. The group's performance measures stayed the same from 2017 to 2018. I have nothing to substantiate that the center is out of compliance with this contract. Except that internal audit revealed the city didn't hold the group accountable when it failed to meet certain performance measures, like not holding enough community wellness sessions. The city also hasn't done a regular review of the group's performance since February 2017, or since that compliance audit was done last May. We have made changes to the relationship in terms of contract management, contract administration purposes. Mayor John Cranley thinks that's a problem, which could point to bigger issues with how the city writes and monitors contracts for some outside groups. Are you curious to know what might be going on with some of the other agencies that are getting this funding? Yeah, in light of, of your findings, absolutely. And I will be diving into it, I promise you that. One of the goals the Health Gap is supposed to achieve in order to get city money is to run a program called Healthy Corner Stores. The new contract lists 14 stores are participating. The I-Team visited all of them last month and discovered only five had healthy foods. Clearly, we showed Mayor Cranley our findings last week. Down here you have some rotting bananas and in the one case empty, completely empty shelves. And we found that in more than, than these three examples. It's outrageous. We discovered the same trend last spring when we visited some of the stores. Those findings are part of why Mayor Cranley called for the compliance audit in the first place. The audit determined there are difficulties in contract enforcement the way it's written. I will also ask for what recourse we have in our contracts on this. Last year, Black also told the I-Team the corner stores weren't up to par. In terms of that particular element of the contract, uh, they were lacking. Uh, however, the way that you deal with that is when we redo the contracts. Now he feels differently, even though neither the contract requirements for the stores nor what we found inside the stores have changed. What the center does is provides education and awareness. It's up to the store on a voluntary basis to become a part of the program. Former City Council member Kevin Flynn is behind a recommendation City Council unanimously passed last June requiring the city to hold all outside funding in a special account until the city determines whether the contracts are being upheld. 
What do you make of what you're seeing? Well, I'm shocked that there is a new contract. That flies in the face of what a 9-0 vote said in June of 17. So why did Black not fulfill council's wishes? So I told my team, we're going to treat everybody the same. We're not going to single out the health gap. We're not going to single out any entity. To do that, Black instructed his team to add one new clause to all new contracts for outside funding. It allows the city to change the contracts if it determines through regular review the organizations are out of compliance. The key for us is to work with them and all of the other organizations to drive performance. Mayor Cranley vows to make the funding process for outside groups more fair. When I submit a budget to council in, in June of this year, that I will make it explicitly clear in the legislation that any monies for this kind of thing will go through a competitive process where everyone's treated the same. I worked on this investigation with my colleagues Amanda Seitz and Paula Christian. We also discovered the city never collected a dime of some $23,000 that internal audit says the health gap misspent last year until we started asking questions a few weeks ago. The same is true for a second nonprofit called Keep Cincinnati Beautiful that also went through a compliance audit. It owes the city close to $20,000 and there is now a payment plan in place for that group. All right, so Hillary, the health gap was called out um, called out the IT team that is mm -hmm. on this reporting this specific reporting on Soul 101.5 this morning we heard the word racist and calls to investigate the IT team so what is your take on that well this reporting even going back to last year when the health gap first criticized us for it is about holding City Hall accountable for how it awards public money to outside groups and how it monitors that spending our investigation including far more details about the records we used and the information we sourced is on WCPO.com right now and you can go there and read it for yourself.